Hi, welcome once again to my channel and uh, in this video I'm going to walk you through how you can install the VMware Workstation Pro which is now free to use by everybody and I won't just walk you through how to install it but I'll also walk you through how to set it up but before we dive in I'd like to you know uh, explain some things to you before we go so the objective of this video is to walk you through to install the VMware Workstation Pro on Windows 11 on your PC or on your laptop and also to be able to set it up uh, so that uh, when you install any VM on the PC or multiple VMs they can be able to interact within themselves or uh, with the physical interface that you've um, attached to it so in this video also I'll talk about the virtual network editor uh most especially the three common network type on vmware works jump pro which is the host only the bridge mode and the nat mode so we'll talk about this and also give an illustration of how they work so that when you're setting up your lab or you're setting up the vms you can know which of this network mode to use let's dive in Close to the end of 2024, VMware Workstation Pro is now free to use by all users, whether you're a commercial user or you're a regular user. You can now use VMware Workstation Pro for free. So I'm going to drop the link to where to download it uh, for you guys, you know, just to download and use uh, for your home lab and all that. So I downloaded the Workstation Pro and I'm going to install it. Here is how you, you should install your VMware Workstation Pro. So you double click at the download and you now let's start the installation of the VMware Workstation Pro. Yes. Let's add next. It nests. Um, yeah, so it nests and install. By the way, I'm using Windows 11, so I'm installing the VMware Workstation Pro on my Windows 11. click the persona use continue and finish so now we have our workstation pro 17 up and running so the next thing we want to do now is to set up uh, the virtual network on the vmware workstation pro is very important what you want to achieve with the vmware workstation pro will inform how you set up your virtual network uh, editor on the vmware workstation pro when you come to VM uh, edits and virtual network editor, then click on change settings. Click yes. So you would see that some things has been set up here. And if you look at the VNet information here, you'd see bridge, NAT and host only. For you to use any of this, uh, you would want to ask yourself what you want to achieve with uh, the vms or how you want to set up your environment so so let's use this as illustration so if you look at this uh illustration and diagram we have uh the lab workstation host which means this is the device will be your pc or your laptop that the vmware workstation pro has been installed on um is known as as an host then that means that if you install, uh, let's say, a FortiGit VM, a Windows Server VM, and a Kalinus VM on the VMware uh, Workstation host, uh, how do you want them to interact? The host only mode, you know, ensures that the VMs within this host can only communicate with themselves and they have no access to internet. Then, if you intend to use the NAT mode, this means that uh, the VM will share the host ip address to be able to access external networks and which is the internet 
uh, via NAT, you know, to be isolated, you know, from the host network. Then uh, for the bridge mode, the bridge mode ensures that the VM, this VM that you have installed on the on the host machine on the lab workstation host, can you know directly will be um, is directly connected to the host physical network. The the interfaces of the host machine, which is a lab uh, lab work workstation host, are now you know bridged um, to the interfaces of the VMs within the host, which means that they can now directly connect you know to the host physical network interface, acting like a separate device with its own IP address. So they'll have their own IP address, and it can also communicate with other devices on that same network. So in using bridge bridge mode. Um, that means that you need to consider uh, the number of interfaces this host machine has, and you can use that to bridge uh, that to you know to the VM, and they can have that shared IP addresses and all that. So, looking at this machine, if you come to network um, and open network, and uh, you have uh, change change adapters. This particular machine has five Ethernet ports, and if you're using bridge mode, it means that uh, each of the ports will be bridged to the uh, VMware uh, network editor, and the VMs within uh, the host can be able to use those interfaces individually, and uh, they can be part of the network uh, that these interfaces. Uh, this net Ethernet port are on. So we have one, two, three, four, five, and you can bring them to the host. And with that, they can be able to, you know, form your network and all that. 